These are all the rods I'm actually going to be rigging up right here. I'm going to be putting all baits on that are great for dirty water, you know, tidal water rivers, um, stuff like that. And then I want to talk about each one of the baits, where I would use it, why I would use it, whole deal. What's going on, guys? Welcome to another video. I hope you guys are having a great day. Um, today we got a cool video coming. Uh, pretty neat. Pretty cool. Um, we're going to get something rolling. So, I actually just got back to Savannah. Um, as you guys know, I traveled to Atlanta for the hurricane, the whole mess. It was just a disaster. It was just crazy. Whole hurricane situation. So it hit Atlanta pretty hard, right? I was going to come back here and film a video on like the destruction. And literally there's nothing except for one thing that I want to show you guys, which kind of stinks, but it, it's part of daily life. So everything looks fine. Like everything. I even went downtown and then I come over here. And this that we just got done, the screen in back porch, is pretty destroyed. So, yeah, like I can stick my hand right through this. That's fine. Is it fine? It is not fine. I don't know what I'm saying. That's not good. This is fine. The rest are fine. But these, I, I have to get this fixed. So today, or tomorrow, I'm actually going on the river. I haven't been on the river in forever since I haven't been down to college. I've been like traveling, been back in Atlanta, stuff like that. So I'm actually, I have my boat here at the house for the first time. First time I brought the boat to the house and uh, I'm going to take the cover off. I'm going to get everything off of that and um, I'm going to rig up some poles. I'm going to show you what I did to travel here. I'm going to show you a little bit of information about dirty water fishing, about river fishing. I think it would be pretty good. So uh, let's go ahead and go out to the boat. So here we got this bad boy right out here in the front yard. First time this bad boy's been at the house. Very excited. Look how good. Like I, I'm just so surprised that it actually fits all the way in my driveway. Like this is. Don't get me wrong. This is like starter home. So there's they're pretty small. I know this might like seem kind of big. Like the garage is teeny. Like I don't know if you guys understand. Like my truck, like. You know, that garage have to be like five six times as big as that to even fit my truck in there like it's a very small garage it could like even barely fit a little car in there um but like yeah so i'm very surprised i mean the driveway's pretty long so perfect for the boat i can just fit it up here because i'm going fishing tomorrow i didn't want to go put the boat up in boat storage because i just wanted to keep it out here so i can get all my stuff ready and just leave in the morning so i can get out on the river early so if you guys haven't seen uh the 2017 17 bass national championship be sure to check it out um i'll leave the link below it's one of my favorite videos i made and a lot of you guys are saying it's like one of the best videos that i've ever made or best videos on youtube i just love it you know it's pretty cool of like the perspective of tournament fishing and like living the dream and um hopefully inspiring you guys you know it's just truly amazing i'm so blessed to be able to do stuff like that and actually put it into a film big shout out to sam moore for um hooking me up with some cool drone footage. I do need to buy a new drone. I do need to start learning how to like fly it so uh, I can get some really dope shots like that because that will literally change my videos, change the vlogs, change the fishing videos. But tomorrow I want to film something very cool. I'm probably not going to have drone footage tomorrow, but I do want to film something just out of the water. And hopefully the fishing is pretty good so we can get some cool fish catches. Well, I was bent down right here because my boat, all right, it's, it's all the way flush flush on right here but I've been having a problem with the straps the straps on my boat have just been or not the straps the strap on my boat the front strap the straps on my boat onto the trailer has been having problems I broke it like multiple times and one thing it was a trailer hitch trailer hitch was super wobbly and it was it wasn't um what's the word I'm looking for I can't even think of where I was looking for but it was very wobbly bought a new trailer hitch um, it's not as wobbly and I haven't, haven't had as many problems. Um, but one thing I've been doing like on like longer trips that I'm going to be driving to in the boat is I have just been getting a few ratchet straps like I'm ratchet strapping it down and also strapping it right there to make sure it's all secure on there. Cause like, like I said, like it's been putting so much like stress on the strap and I broke it so many times and it's not cause the boat's like not on the trailer properly. It's just so much bouncing and so it's just with my, tr my i got a big boy this is a big boy right here and yeah, it just doesn't want to work right i 
I don't even know why I'm taking this off. Why am I taking that off? No, like, what? There's no point. I'm taking the cover off, not the boat. I'm gonna dunk my boat in my driveway. So these are all the rods I'm actually gonna be rigging up right here. I'm gonna be putting all baits on that are great for dirty water, you know, tidal water rivers, um, stuff like that. And then I wanna talk about each one of the baits, where I would use it, why I would use it, whole deal. A few baits that I think are gonna be key tomorrow is this little crankbait, little crawfish crankbait. You know, I can throw this around, you know, some trees, any cover. Also around some like riprap banks, some rock. Hopefully get a good bit of fish, especially when that tide tide's coming in and coming out. And uh, also this little crawl, you know, push us around some cypress trees, any cover on the edge of some lily pads, um, edge of some grass, a grass line, whole deal. That's just a standard little old Texas rig. That'd catch them, you know, pretty much many areas. You know, this is a really great bait. The only bad thing is a lot of those mud fish that get a hold of this and actually break you off all the time. So I do use just a standard lead weight not a tungsten weight. All right guys, I actually brought my poles in the backyard so I can get a beautiful lake view in the background. And so I have four poles I really want to talk about that I'm going to be using tomorrow. And um, the first one I want to talk about is a chatterbait. So this one's actually like a peanut butter and jelly colored chatterbait right here. I'm going to be throwing that one tomorrow a good bit. I'm going to try to get a reaction bite. If there's like a lot of wind, stuff like that, I'm going to be throwing that a lot. I'm throwing this on 15 pound cigar fluorocarbon. And this is actually an Akuma TCS Martin APC rod, which is a seven foot medium heavy. That's usually my favorite rod all time around. Uh, like I usually say, it's a seven foot medium heavy. I'm a big fan of medium heavy. I like a little bit of the tip of my rod. I don't like it to wear, you know, it's too heavy of a rod or too light of a rod. Medium heavy is just right there in the middle. And uh, that's perfect for that seven foot medium heavy. Second rod I'm going about is a 7.3 heavy rod. Um, this is actually on 50 pound braid. And this is a little frog I got going, so I'm gonna be chucking that up in some lily pads, some grass as well. And also you can, like a frog, you can skip that under some shady areas around trees um, and around other structure to aggress those, um, get those fish to come up and eat it. Um, and most of the time they will if they're active. And this little crankbait right here, um, this little red crankbait, I'm gonna be throwing around riprap also a little bit of structure um but for the main thing around the main river i'm going to be throwing this bad boy hopefully i can get a reaction bite on that and lastly the bait i'm probably going to be throwing the most tomorrow is a just standard texas rig crawl and like i said before i'm not using tungsten weights just because there's a lot of mud fish in there and they will snap your line you know they have those little sharp teeth they'll just cut your line right away and um, the rod i'm using this is a Martin APC seven foot medium heavy, like I said, all time favorite rod. This is perfect for skipping this little Texas rig, you know, around tree branches, flipping up by cypress trees. It's just perfect for that. And that's on 15 pound Seaguar fluoro carbon as well. And uh, all my reels are seven, three to one gear ratio reels. Great setups right here. Since I'm at the pond, I might as well throw a few casts. I don't know if I want to get a bite, but let's go ahead and try out. That's exactly how you break a chatterbait right off your rod, guys. I am so lucky this bad boy did not fly in the lake. I would have been sad. That was crazy. I don't know if that's just a sign I should get off the water or not. Whew, I just ate a huge dinner. I've been eating a lot, guys. I'm trying to gain my weight back. I lost 50 pounds and getting in the gym every day the past month trying to, trying to put on some muscle. So, uh... Got all the poles lined up for tomorrow morning. I'm gonna throw the wrap on the boat, or the wrap. I'm gonna throw the cover on the boat, get it all lined up, and then uh, we'll be good for tomorrow. So I'm semi curious how the weather is gonna play a big role in this because yeah, the hurricane just hit, and I don't know what those fish are gonna be doing. The water's probably gonna be just stone cold, so dirty, it's not even funny, and uh, I'm gonna have to adjust to the situations. So, you know, like I tell on the crankbait, chatterbait, um, frog, little Texas rig to go finesse. And I haven't been out there in a while, so it's going to be interesting tomorrow. And if if I don't get too much, I'm going to at least try to make a sick video for you guys. We're waking up pretty early tomorrow. I'm hoping to get some cool film. Like I said, I don't know how it's going to be. Hopefully, I'll just get something totally, like, just sick to film and uh, get a lot of cool editing going. Get a really cool video that I could possibly post on Sunday. So um, what I'm going to do the rest of the night is pretty much I'm going to get done with this right here. I'm going to go edit it and uh, 
get it scheduled and everything to post tomorrow, which is Thursday, which is when you guys are watching it. And uh, it's time for the fan comment of the day. So like I said, if you guys haven't seen the 2017 uh, Bassmaster National Cha College of Bassmaster National Championship, please go check it out. Like I said, it's one of my best videos. Well, this is where this comment's coming from. So um, fishing with Norm, you know, I met him a few times. Really cool dude. His comment says, one of the best fishing videos on YouTube, hands down. The effort you put into editing this was unbelievable. Truly enjoyed watching. Keep on inspiring. No, and congrats on the 13th. So uh, first of all, we got 22nd. I know it kind of cut off weird, but uh, thank you, Fisherman Norm. I know you watch all my videos. Thank you so much, dude. Um, it's awesome. All you're going to see you at, you know, iCast and stuff like that. But uh, about the time and editing in that video, I really put, like, hours upon hours upon hours in that video because my computer couldn't even keep up with how many files and everything I was putting in so literally every click that I put on the video and tried to drag something or try to edit something it literally took about 10 seconds for it to process like it was just glitching it's just aggravating but I wanted to get it out to you guys so bad so like the last day which was Saturday night and because I was pushing to Sunday, I worked on it around six to seven hours, and that's like no joke, it's just straight. And I, I like got to the point where I was like about to finish it, and I was just starting to freak out. And then my hard drive space on my computer is like filling up because I had so many files, and I was like, this is just insane. But got it up there, it's awesome. I did get a copyright strike on that video, sadly, but it's all good, it's for you guys. Um, that video is just awesome, and I hope it inspires a lot of people, and it's great. But I'm going to go out tomorrow, try to catch a lot of good fish. Please leave a comment below if you want to get featured in the next video. Um, be sure to smash the like button. That means a lot, guys. If you want to see more tackle videos like that, me prepping, me talking like that, uh, definitely smash the thumbs up button. Leave a comment below um, on what you guys want to see next, and uh, just a fan comment in general if you guys want me to pick for the next um, fan comment of the day and uh what's one more thing one more thing subscribe guys subscribe hit the little bell thank you guys so much for the support the fan base that i have the loyalty from you guys is just awesome you guys are the best fans in the world i could ask for any better people but thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next one I think that 24-7 an understatement to my day-to-day. -day. If ain't no way, then I'ma make a way. Yeah. They just said it.